Welcome back to Eureka Farms for episode 9 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm back on Eureka Farms. Goham Industries, honestly, DJ Goham <laughs> has ruined me. <laughs> my, my perspective on things has changed. More testing. Uh, thank you to everyone that's commented with various different ideas. So this is the, the idea or the concept that apparently this is a thing on the on the main game it's one of those weird things that well i never knew that isn't that strange well not strange but why would i have known it that with loading wagons and various different things like that if you put at least five percent now it used to work with the bales if you if you leave a baler with a little bit of shoring or a little bit of grass in or a little bit of hay in the next bale you do even if you're putting something else into it you will get a full bale of whatever that is because it's been left in there that's just the way it works but apparently, 5% is all it takes. Now, the loading wagon I've got least is 500,000 litres. So that is 25,000 litres, isn't it? 10% would be 50,000. So, yeah. So 25,000 litres of hay is what's needed. So what I'm going to do is make some hay. In theory. And then hopefully <laughs> but I'm not going to do it all hay um, why is that not okay, one second. don't have access to this land I'm jolly well do that's weird There we go, it's just not that bit. So, I'm going to make hay. But only enough to put into the... To do 25,000 litres. I'm going to do that first. Once I hit 25,000 litres, I'm then going to just cut the rest. I'm not going to ted it. And see if it works. I mean, I'm not disputing what people are telling me, but I just want to test it for myself. I'm just incredibly curious. I've never done it myself. I've, you know, like I say, I've done it with bales. I know that bales do it, but... And apparently it's fairly standard, fairly normal. I do have a contract at the moment going on field 12 for barley. So what I've done is because... If any of you are having the same problem, like I mentioned before, about the worker will do one strip up and back and then it will stop working. And then you have to go back up and down again and you know, that's the header uh, the tool height control for header causes that because a worker it was not raising and lowering it and it gets confused so someone suggested why don't you have two separate headers if you're going to do the harvest contract or a contract and have the header with the tool height control then you can whiz up and down and get on with it but if you're having someone else doing the harvesting you're going to hire a worker while you do other jobs to stop it stopping just have a regular header it's still got a 500,000 litre capacity here on the map, so the harvest is still going to keep going. But it's not going to stop. Brilliant idea. Absolutely fantastic. Doesn't matter if it plods along six miles now while I'm doing other jobs. And then once I'm ready, then if I've got my other jobs done, I'm going to go back and carry on, finish off the harvest. Then I'll swap the headers over. So that's what I'm going to do. Or well, at least that's the plan. It's quite hard, actually, to judge what's going to be 25,000 litres. I'm going to do a load of hay because obviously you're always probably wondering why I'm doing more hay again. This is because of that situation as well with the, the cows. I am going to be getting the cows, don't worry. I'm still going to be getting the cows. That they now require everything. So whereas before you could do, you know, you, I mean, I don't agree with it personally. I think the whole premise behind it was originally that if you gave the cows grass which they could graze on or hay or silage you would get a certain percentage of productivity based upon that if you took the time to make tmr and i suppose because people can buy it now or whatever but if you're taking the time to do silage and hay or silage hay and straw and you're making tmr the bonus for taking the time to do all of that was that would make the cows 100 percent efficient now, from what I've been told, it only makes them 71% efficient. And if you want to get to 100%, you do you need to then put 
hay and grass or silage in as well which is I don't know I don't know if I agree with it I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm happy about that is what I'm trying to say so yeah I don't know really it's a bit annoying isn't it I don't know how much to do shall I stop there and just hope that's enough what I'll do is I'll grab the loading wagon let's turn that off turn that off just to move out of the way I'll gather up what I've got if I hit 25,000 then I'm going to cut a load of grass and we'll see if it does it uh, what do I need so this is as far as I got I didn't have to do all the rest of it but obviously I'm going to get more than 500,000 that is in total anyway so it doesn't hurt to have more because if I do need to put five, at least 5% in now I said 5% was 25% I think that's right I've just gone 25%, 25,000 I've just gone this over that now what I've done in my field 10 I've started cutting grass now to prove this theory I don't need to have the whole field done and what I have cut already if this doesn't work I'll just head over it it's not a problem what I was thinking in my head was what would what I thought would happen was because I've got hay in here and what I've got there is grass it won't pick it up because it's like well no it's the wrong crop type you've got but is it because there's that kind of there's that sweet spot it's not so much this saying right okay no that's not the right product I don't know. I, I, in my head, I'm thinking this is not going to work. But if it does, we'll be making hay without making hay, which is amazing. So let's turn this on and see what happens. No way. Yeah. So that on the field is all grass. We had 25,000 litres of hay in it. I'm now picking this all up and it's still saying hay in there. So without having to ted anymore, I mean it's interesting that it's like wow okay that's amazing. That's it says put wear and tear on two pieces of machinery. And if you were mowing and then tedding this saves so much time. I mean, it's just it's such a clever idea, and it works. As you can see, <laughs> it works, which is amazing. I honestly didn't think it would, and it's weird. You know, like I say, I'm not, I'm not doubting what people are saying, but you know, like in your head, you're thinking, what? But logically, that, that, surely that can't work. And it is. We are making hay without making hay. We did a fraction of what we needed but obviously in the situation we're in at the moment because I'm using that mower setup with the tether on the back I'm still only doing one pass so realistically in this particular situation it's kind of a moot point other than the fact that I say I'm, I'm going to put wear and tear on the tether which I then don't technically need to because I'm going over in one pass anyway. So whether I go across the whole lot of mow or I go across the whole lot of mow and Ted at the same time, it's still only one pass across the whole field. I've got to go across the whole field anyway. But it's it's interesting to see this work. Oh, that thing I was going to point out as well. I mustn't forget. Hang on just a second. Thank you to Barris for pointing this out. Because I was very much kind of, you know, I was trying to look at all the bits of machinery and equipment and things that were available. Right, and then what I should be able to do is then go back, take the other t more, up to another twenty-five thousand of hay. If I cut some more over at the main farm, and then cut some more grass here. But again, you know, now apparently this works in the base game. I've I've never tried it in the base game. I would never have thought to try it in the base game. <laughs> Funny old world, isn't it? Well, uh, yeah, what I was going to show you was, Barris pointed this out to me, under telehandler tools, right at the very end there, there's a Maxi bulk shovel, large capacity, 2,800, takes everything, with a capacity of 100,000 litres. 100,000 litres. In a bucket. <laughs> Oh, 
dear. Well, just when you think there's no more surprises that can be thrown up at you, that happens. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is spend a load of time doing this. I'm going to make a load of hay. I am going to need to do a massive silage harvest at some point because I'm going to need more silage. Because if I am going to be filling up all of the troughs, so I'm going to have TMR. One is for hay and grass, isn't it? And then one's for silage. Oh, my mind's... Why am I struggling so much to remember? Well, I haven't got any animals in there yet, have I? No, that's the other one. Um, I'm sure that's right. So I'm going to need a load more of each. But every time I do a contract or I do a field of my own where I can produce straw, I'm just going to keep getting straw. I've got 20 million litres of capacity, so it really doesn't matter. I'll just, you know, if I can do it, I'll do it, and I'll just keep putting it into storage. Absolutely keep putting it into storage. Why wouldn't I? the field I'm on at the moment doing the harvest contract on field 12 I'll do what I did before using this loading wagon I'll drive around the outside of the bits of land that I do own and I'll gather the straw swath off of that as well because why not it would be mad not to so when I see you later I'll have a load more hay I need to buy some more fields don't I I suppose thinking about it just thinking so I, I bought those just so I could do what I did before. Field 7 got me quite a lot when I'd had corn on that originally for the biogas plant. Now that's regrowing with sugarcane again. Do I kind of splash out, although that would be a big chunk of my money gone again? But I can't make it back. We haven't got any corn growing, have we? No. Say do a big old silage harvest maybe. How much were those? Two hundred and forty one. Yeah, I mean that's nearly five hundred grand and I'm only just over six hundred. I'll give that some thought as well. So I'll see you later. Hopefully the harvest contract will be done in twelve. I'll have a load more hay. Uh, just to check the numbers, just so we know there's no nefariousness. Uh we have got zero hay. Because we used it all for making total mixed ration. So at the moment there's nothing in there. So when we're done, we should have a load more hay back in there. Excellent. Another glorious day begins here on Eureka Farms. And I've got more work to do. Of course I have. I've always got more work to do. As you've already seen, load more contracts done. We're up to 1,073,897, well, I've got on pounds, but should be dollars, really. I have, I'm getting absolutely no production. Although it's only 60% productivity, I've got nothing coming out of my sugar factory. So I think I need to put sugar beet with that. Crops are all growing. I need to check on. I have taken on a contract for harvesting field 13 of sunflower, but there is a load of harvest contracts available now, so we can make a ton more money, which is absolutely wondrous. But first, I suppose I could really get the harvester going, couldn't I? And then I can get on with other things. But that's why, oh yeah, by the corn header I've got is a tool height control one, so we won't worry about that for the moment. It's time for the 500. Not quite as good as 300, that's a very good film, but the 500 <laughs> this is going to take me some time to put these in. What I'm going to do is open the doors. I'm going to have to back in this way to put the feed in. Bedding, I'm going to have to come in through, I think, through the, through the yardy, fieldy bit. Just here. I'm going to need to get a tanker for the water. I did put in my stand pipes so we're good for getting water and then background to put straw in hence the reason why as well with this particular one i went with i thought i kept hold of that trailer where did i put it oh over there um that one is also no that's a five hundred thousand, isn't it does that tip can't remember i'll try both of them anyway i want one that pushes rather than tips to unload because um I don't want it opening up inside there and hitting the roof and that kind of thing. Um, I took the weekend off. The, the, the clips you've seen already were recorded on... Well, I, I say... No, I didn't actually, no. I don't know why I always say that. 
If I don't post a video in my head, I took the weekend off. I didn't post a video. But over the weekend, I did a load of work on Six Ashes. I did a load of contracts on here. <laughs> I did a little bit of recording. So, yeah, I didn't actually take the day off. All I mean is I didn't post a video. So, yeah, didn't take it off. Um, what are we going to go with? Do we go with a mix or just all one? I think I'm going to go with... Do we go all Angus? No, that's a meat breed or Holsteins. Ashes. Let's go with Ashes. Why not? Let's fill it up. I'll see you in a minute when it's full. I've just suddenly realised I haven't got enough to fill it up, have I? I've just got over a million. <laughs> uh, that's going to cost me 80 grand to, to deliver them. But if I do them myself delivering them... Um, please tell me I just hit confirm. What happened? Now I was absolutely told that, that these would work together on the map because the map was prepared for it. Oh, seriously, come on. After all the time I took to do all of this, do not do this to me. I don't know what happened before. I just pressed the wrong button. Right, I'm down to 50 grand. <laughs> God, a million pound doesn't go very far anymore, does it? I'm not up to the 500 yet. Because I just didn't have enough money. I thought I did. did I just didn't even do the, the maths in my head. I thought, no, it would be fine, it would be fine. Of course not. Um, we are up to 379. I'm going to hit that 500, so I need to load more contract work. So I've got load more work to do but for the time being yeah look at that down the bottom there now i'm sure on seasons i'm, I'm my dairy cows aren't saying that because i did say that it was specific to this map but i know people say no no that's that was part of the, one of the updates that it changed it all across the whole game because that is saying the bottom total mix ration effectiveness 65 percent which you never used to Hay, silage or hay pellets, 25%. And grass, 10 Oh, you've got to be kidding. I did the wrong thing. I thought, oh, I had it in my head that you had hay and grass was in one category and silage was separate. It's not, is it? So maximum I'm going to get to is 90. Doesn't matter. I've got I've got enough to we'll get we'll get rocking and rolling. I left myself a bit of money because I need to lease a tanker. Uh, so let's grab. Where's my lorry? Now, uh, while we're talking about things, what we're we talking about? Oh yes, if you if you haven't yet done it, get over to DJ uh, DJ's channel, DJ Goham, or Clutch Simulations. And check out the Farm Sim show. You've got to check it out. Honestly, it is brilliant. Oh, I love it. I was catching up on on the last one they did. They had TNT modding on. It was brilliant. And was absolutely fascinating to find out about how he does stuff and the struggles of getting things onto Mod Hub for console um, and how it came about that we got all of the modded stuff on TNT's maps. I don't want to give the game away. Um, go over and watch. It, honestly, it's a fascinating watch. Um, they do bits of news. They do bits of um, chat about mods and things that are coming out. Modders they've been looking at and talking to. Um, mods that are in the pipeline. It's not just PC stuff. They talk about console stuff as well. Um, yeah, but the TNT stuff was fascinating. Um, so, yeah, jump on there. Have, have a check out on the Farm Sim Show. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. If you know me, you know that might not happen. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. So what I'm going to do now is TMR. I'm just, I've got 3.6 million litres, so we should be okay for TMR. That's not to say we will be. I may have completely made an absolute boom. Now, hang on a minute. You know what I'm going to do first. Unload the air tips. I thought it would. Mm. 
so we're doing 500,000 litre chunks. I mean, if I'd have kept the pace setter, that's a, that's a belly dump, so that would have been okay, but that's a lot longer. Well, I suppose I still could have got it in there, couldn't I? Oh, it doesn't matter, it just take me some extra loads. It's not the end of the world, is it? Oh, it's not like I've got anything else to do, is it? That being said, oh yeah, before I forget, thank you, Serge, you and Adam. Thank you very, 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 very much for your generosity. It is much appreciated and much needed at this time. <laughs> oh dear, if you're from the US, I, I've probably asked this question before, haven't I? Probably the last time a car is going for this MOT. Um, in the UK, we have the Ministry of Transport um, testing, the MOT test. Uh, so the car has to go in every single year and has to be checked over to make sure it's road safe and everything gets checked, you know, pipes and brakes and lines and you name it, lights, uh, emissions, everything. they go through the whole thing with a fine tooth comb. Um, and sometimes you, your car will sail through its MOT and other times it doesn't. <laughs> this was one of those times. Uh, I just, yeah, potentially 600 quid plus. <laughs> Yeah, he rang up to say, well, he gave me the list of things that were wrong with it. So I just said, ballpark, what we're looking at, it's all oh, five, six hundred pounds. Depending on whether we can get the parts and what parts you can get and where you can get them from. Obviously, being the fact that we're in lockdown, a lot of companies and people aren't at work. Companies aren't producing the things that they need. They can't get them. So, uh, so they kept the car for three or four days. Then he rang me up the other day and said, look, you can come and collect it. It's ready. They weren't open over the weekend, so we're going to go pick up today. So I said to him, what's the damage? What's, what's, what's the bill? I haven't worked out yet. So that's going to be a nice surprise when we go and pick the car up later on. <laughs> so yeah, Adam and Sergio, thank you very much. <laughs> that's going towards the MOT. <laughs> oh, dearie me. I don't know. I am really curious to see how much these are going to take. I reckon a couple of million litres. Actually, you know what? That's taking a while to fill up, isn't it? That's 500,000 litres. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the harvester. I'm going to get the harvester going over on field 13. I've still le I've still got the corn header leased. I haven't bought that. I've still got, as I said before, I've got two headers now. So I've got the tall height control header, which is that one, which means I can do the fast harvesting. That one's a standard a standard header. So if I want to leave a worker just plodding on, it doesn't stop at the end of the, a couple of rows. It just keeps going. So if I wanted to just leave a worker, now this could be a problem with this one, because that's going to keep stopping. But in all honesty, um, I, I want to get it going, because I need to get some more money. I want to hit those 500. The other thing I was going to check as well was, how many contracts have I done so far? Mission's completed. 14, is that all? Oh, no, I had to reset everything, didn't I? I had a load of contracts on the previous map, but I had to do a new save game. Oh, never mind. So while I'm kind of on the subject of, of you know, I was saying about Farm Sim Show and TNT being on them, whatever, I just want to say a massive, massive shout out to TNT. And I want to echo the, the sentiment. If you do go over and have a watch, I'm not going to spoil anything about this, but the DJ and Clutch both said that TNT has zoomed up to the head of, um, f for people on console, as being one of their favourite map makers now. And I know people have argued, oh yeah, well Eureka Farms is boring, it's flat, it's blah blah blah. Bucks County isn't. When I did the Bucks County map tour, I absolutely loved that map. I know there were a few issues at the start and it had to have an update. It's one of the reasons why I didn't start a Let's Play on it initially, because I knew there was an update coming, and then obviously other things happened, and, you know, and then I started doing this one because I thought it would be absolutely crackers. But I think for a lot of people, getting this ability to be able to play around with some, you know, like I've said before, the bonker stuff in game, TNT's brought that to the game for us. And a lot of people are loving every second of that. So, thank you TNT, I doff my cap in your direction. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the funny thing is, part of that interview, the question was asked, how does it feel when a, a YouTuber, content creator, plays on the map you've made 
and TNT answered the question. I'm not going to tell you what he said because obviously I want, I want you to go and watch it because it's there. Um, but for me, I know what's really strange, and I've always felt this way. No, 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 no. drop the header first because it's head height control and then hire a worker. I know it's not going to work exactly right. For me, I still feel like if I, if I get in touch with or a modder or a map maker gets in touch with me I always get kind of a bit excited a bit kind of giddy a bit kind of oh my this is amazing you know these guys that make these mods that make these maps that make the stuff that we're able to come and play on they've messaged me or just left a comment say thanks for doing this this map tour thank you for having a look at my mod or and I'm like you haven't got to thank me you made it that that's really really cool and um and I think it's that kind of, in the community, that symbiotic relationship, that thing of, you know, a lot of these guys make it because they're passionate about it, but their end game is they want people to enjoy it. They want people to use what they've made and, and have fun doing it. Us from the other side are saying, yeah, put stuff out because we want to have a go. We want to, you know. Now I know the problem we've got at the moment is the problem we've always had. The problem I find as a content creator, and I know you know, talking to DJ and other, you know, other content creators at, at different times. You, we've always said you're never going to please everyone. And for every hundred people that say they love what you're doing, there are going to be one or two that are going to complain and moan. You know, that's just the way of the world. It's the way it is. It's the same with modding. There'll be a hundred people that are loving what's coming out, that are just really grateful and thankful to every modder, every map maker, maker and say, look, thanks ever so much. You're giving us so much choice, so many options. Like I said the other day, 130... What did I say it was? 139 maps we had available on console at the moment? That's incredible. But then you've got that tiny minority that kick up and complain and moan and it's rubbish, it's not fair, we don't get as much as PC, we should have this, we should have that, why aren't we getting this, why aren't we getting that, how long is it going to be till this comes out? And they are a minority, but I also understand why then map makers and modders say, you know what, I'm fed up with this, because it's always... It seems to be, and not always, that it's the minority that are the loudest. <laughs> it's the minority that comment more and post more. Um, and and also, like I said before, human nature is that's what you focus on. It's very easy when people say, just ignore it. Ignore the comments, ignore that. You know, focus on the positive bits. But it's human nature to look at those negatives because we're always looking at, well, how can I improve? How can I be better at something? The only way to work out how to become better at something is to look at the negativity. If you're always looking at the positive stuff, you walk around your whole life thinking you're wonderful because everyone's telling you you're wonderful and you don't realise what your flaws are. So it's kind of that human nature thing. Um, I've gone off on a ramble again, haven't I? One of my little rants. But yeah, I start off by saying thank you TNT. Keep doing what you're doing. I know from watching the, the Farm Sim show that there's more stuff in the pipeline. There's more stuff coming, everyone. From TNT, watch this space. Not this space, but his space. No. So anyway, I've got to get back to doing the uh, timer. Just a thought, is this high? Yeah, it's all right. Just a thought, is the barn door high enough? Will I actually get this in here? But this again, this, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to do quite a few runs. <laughs> it's 500,000 litres. It's not like I'm trying to put 3 million litres in here using a 60,000 litre trailer there you go total mix ration boom right while we're doing that that's going in i need to go to tools and miscellaneous and the missy b mtu 60 is part of one of the liquid storage mods that she has it's not a separate mod um, if you want this particular tank, which is 6,000 litres, takes pretty much everything, it's in one of the one of her packs. My mind has gone blank as to which one, but if you type in Missy B in the search, you should get all of her mods come up. And I'm, I can't remember which one it is, but there's a liquid storage tank pack, and it comes with that. Um, again, if I remember, I'll put it in the description. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything in particular, because I'm just going to lease it for the time being. I don't. I mean, I do have the money to buy one. I suppose I should have bought one, shouldn't I? Well, that unloaded quickly. Now, do I really want to see what sort of a dent this is made in the feed? 
<laughs> I don't really, do I? Okay, that's... Not, is that a quarter? It's over a quarter, isn't it? Not quite a third. It may not need as much as I think. Mind you, I haven't got 500 in there yet, have I? Oh, that's really annoyed me now because my thumbnail was going to say the 500. The 379 doesn't have the same kind of ring to it, does it? Let's be honest. I could borrow the money and pay it back. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to borrow the money. I want to get the 500 in there. I'm going to borrow it and I'm going to pay it back as soon as I've got the contracts done because I know I can make the money so I don't it doesn't matter I don't think I've got a loan at the moment no my loan is zero so how much do I need to borrow I don't know. let's borrow 500 grand Will 500 be enough uh, what I don't spend I'll give back and then when I do my contracts I'll pay that all back off again I so I'm going to get the 500 in there 503. That'll do. Um, right, that's filling up. Let's. I want to get the 500 in. Let's do this. 379. I'm going to have to count now. That involves counting and maths and stuff. 379. Add 1 is 380. I'm correct, that should have taken me to 400. Let's double, let's double check that. We're at 400. 100 more. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That should be 500s. We're at the 500, yes. Right, so we're going to need more in there. Right, 176 grand left. I need to give some of that back. Like I said, I need, I'll, I'll make the money. That's not a problem. Let's repay a load of that. Down to about, that'll do. 46, that's not quite full yet. Yes. So, awesome. Well, still not full, okay. That is going to have made a big difference, though, to how much that has taken. Well, that's about a quarter now. <laughs> so 200,000 litres, I reckon. Just over 200,000 litres of TMR. Then I'm going to need to put in... I've got no grass. That's frustrating. The other thing I want to do is I'm going to grab the pickup. We're going to whiz out. Um, because they're not ready yet. That's frustrating. I thought they were going to be ready as well. I'm pretty sure... Sorry, I know I'm kind of rambling in my head... Plant growth is on fast. My sugar beets and potato fields growth. Oh, they're not quite there yet. Not quite there. Sugar canes growing again. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to talk about. I'm going to buy when I've got enough money because I haven't again now. Is I'm going to get. Yeah, I haven't even got anywhere near enough money to buy another 500 pasture for 300 grand. Then another one point. 2 million, 1. 1, 000, 000, isn't it? I'm going to need to get another 500 to get to my 1,000. That's my target, 1,000 cows. I'm going to buy field 11. I'm going to put poplars in it. I'm going to put poplars in it because I'm going to do a laminate boards factory. Because the great thing about here on TNT is if I use my cedar, I can plant poplars with the cedar, which I've never done before. So I'll give that a go. And I'm also going to double stack. So I think on six ashes, I did the regular, just did the planting, seeding of poplars and left the gaps in between. Now, I'm pretty sure, and I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it might have been Lone Oak. God, that was a while ago. Lone Oak, I did the double plant. So you run up the rows, you plant, and then the gaps that are left, you run back down the rows and you plant in the gaps. So you've basically just got a forest. Like when the sugar cane grows, it's like that. Now that was Bear and Papa that actually this morning sent me a message um, saying if a lot of times when you buy a poplar field it's already double planted a lot of the times and it's like that when it's fully grown it's like a thick forest and I thought you know what I'm going to do that I'm going to double plant I already had it in my head I was going to do some um, some poplars on here because again because you can seed them plant them so quickly you haven't got to use the um, 
the poplar pallets or anything like that we can just get them down get it done and then we'll do some i thought what am i going to do with them i can just i could sell the wood chips but obviously the factory packs make them a bit more relevant am i going to make a huge amount of money i don't care i don't mind it again we're on research and development we're on goham's time now there's you know he's paying my wages that's the point actually dj if you're watching i haven't been paid this month Hey, I'm having so much fun in here. I'd do this for free. Wouldn't bother me. Right, so where are we at now? Let's have a look. I think I've gone a bit zany today. I've lost my mind. Oh, okay. Nearly a million litres and we're not quite halfway. So it's going to be over. How have I managed... Oh, they've used some, haven't they? I was going to say, have I managed to lose some in transit? But they're probably already munching away. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect that. I'm going to go and grab the tanker. I'm going to start getting the water in. I will see you in a little while when they are filled up. We'll see just how much is actually taken to do 500 in one hit. Now I've done, I think the, the biggest I've ever done took me over 500. Did it take me over 500 in the end on Stone Valley? But that was over the course of an entire Let's Play. I've never done 500 in one go before. Um, so this is kind of the first time of doing something like that and if we do the second one which is what I'm aiming for I'll, I've never done a thousand I know there's guys out there there's loads of you out there oh, I've done a thousand I've done two thousand I've done twenty five thousand you know you always get you know how it is a map comes out and it's been out for five days and someone's already done a thousand hours of it um, pretty sure <laughs> pretty sure that can't work but anyway okay Oh, did I leave the gate open on the other side? Lucky they're not wandering all off. See, that I think I would like to see. The next evolution of farm sim. I want to see animals escaping. If you leave gates open, I know, I know it's not going to happen, but can you imagine if you leave a gate open and then your cows wander off and then you have to herd them back? You have to go and collect them or something. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Take your, your livestock trailer out and you have to sort of stop and they go into the trailer. I know it wouldn't necessarily be particularly much fun, but... Oh no. Have I made a terrible error here? No cow. No, 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 no. I might have point myself in up yet. No. Oh. Now, there we go. Oh, look. I'm in that sweet spot. I'm filling up. As you can see, bottom right, I'm filling up. But I can also overload at the same time. So what should happen is the trough should be filling up and I'm also filling the tanker. Let's have a double check. Yep, water level's going up, as you can see. 25. 29. And my tanker's filling up at the same time as well. Double whammy. So having that, that standpipe positioned right next to it, whilst it's not directly filling up the trough, by doing this... I haven't got to go backwards and forwards with load after load after load after load. I can just keep going until it's full. Um, the cows are doing their usual osmosis thing. Excellent stuff. Right. See you in a bit. Speed. I've decided to go with the RYC1 Sweeper by Rowry Christie 1. Um, this is going to be perfect for going up and down the trough area. Not too expensive. I think it came in at just over six grand. Fantastic bit of kit. Absolutely love it. This is my first time using it in anger. The other thing I meant to show you earlier and I forgot was I'm nearly putting, finished, done, finished, done, done putting TMR in. Let's turn that off a second. What I didn't show you, which I said I was going to, was how much hay we actually got. We ended up with so yeah, 2,199,884 litres of hay we got from doing our hay production, which worked out absolutely brilliantly. So now what I'm thinking is I've got the choice now of putting hay or silage in for the next part of the feed. I'm going to go with hay first because I know I can produce a load more fairly quickly. That being said, the third component is going to be grass. 
Now the grass has regrown because it's a new day. So I can get back out with the mowers. I can get, I know I can get about 2 million litres of grass done. Again, because we're on TNT's map, really quickly. I can get 2 million litres done really quickly. That feed is already piling up. That's what 500 cows will do to you. So, yeah, I just want to give you that bit of an update. So I, I think as well... I need to build up a load of money before I even think about investing in the next 500. I need to get a mower set up. I think I'm going to get the big M anyway. Going to get the big M and a tedder. That's going to be on the staff permanently, part of the, the gear. Um, because I'm going, to be, I'm going to be doing this a lot. I'm going to be mowing for grass, tedding, mowing and tedding for hay, or cutting grass for silage or you know I'm gonna need a mower rather than keep leasing it every time I'm just gonna buy it actually looking out across here reminded me when I was saying the other day I was watching Mike somebody my mind had gone completely blank it was Mike Mitchell from Saskatchewan their farm borders the, the it's along the US border between you know US and Canada their machinery their farm Borgo seed drills 68 footers and 86 footers They've got three or four John Deere 9RXs. They've got Fent 1050s. They've got quad tracks. They've, I think their seed drill setup is about six, seven, or eight drills when they're running. <laughs> they run two or three case 4440 sprayers. They've just bought some new Amazon trailed sprayers for doing their fertilizing. The, the farm setup is huge. Um, thank you to whoever it was that recommended Mike to me to watch. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. So thank you for that. Right, that's the TMR in. Sorry, I just thought I'd ju jump back in and just give a quick update so I remembered I hadn't said about the hay. And the fact I'd just grabbed the um, sweeper as well. Right, so that's it. That's TMR in and done. Next is going to be... I'm going to do hay as the next component. I do need to get bedding in. Let's get some bedding in. And at least they're going to start making some manure as well. So I'll do straw next. I've got plenty of straw. Now I could turn that into pellets and store that and then go again. But in all honesty, again, I can shift 500,000 litres at a time. I've got 10 million litres of storage there, 10 million litres of storage there. I'm not too worried about making it into pellets. Now, obviously, with that thing that happens every now and again, sometimes if you fill up the feed area, the bedding areas with straw pellets, it just drops off all of a sudden you don't need to put straw in anymore so I, I could go down that route but that's what, what am I talking about that's a little bit cheaty um <laughs> don't think it really matters on here does it I'm trying you know oh it does I'm not even going to justify it <laughs> a little bit of time has passed my harvest contract on field 13 of sunflower is nearly done not quite. I've been jumping over there and doing speed bits. Weirdly, with the corn header on, with the tall height control for harvesters, that hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped after every other turn. So maybe it's just regular headers that do it, not corn headers. Uh, I leased the mower again. I need to buy one of those. Getting the cows now as I opened up another set of bits of machinery and equipment I'm, I'm going to need. I've got the sweeper for cleaning the feed area. We're going to need to clean out because yeah, it doesn't automatically, or does it automatically? Oh, it does. We went for the one with the manure thing. Oh, that's all right. I haven't got a muck out. That's going to save so much time. Um, I need to buy a new tanker, or a tanker, because this one is leased. So we are going to buy a tanker, which is only 40 grand, but I haven't got 40 grand at the moment. I want to buy some other plots for doing poplars. I need to increase my grass capacity. I haven't got 2 million litres yet. I haven't cut that much. But what I'm going to do is collect what I've got, We'll put that in, that should bring our productivity up. Now, the other problem that does bring into question is... Let's go around. That's weird, that didn't seem to be collecting as much as I thought it was. Does this need to be repaired? I thought it was way more than that. Uh, that... What was the question that had opened up? Oh yeah, cows. Now, I'm full at 500. And if their productivity is maximum, and then the reproduction rate with 500 in there is really good, I'm losing out on new births because I've got nowhere to put them. So I think the problem I'm going to have is I do need another K 
cow barn fairly soon otherwise I'm, I'm wasting potential I've cut everything that all around the sides of here <laughs> everything I could find I've cut yeah actually you know what I'm going to do that doesn't seem to be anywhere near as much as I thought I was going to get off what I've cut already so yeah well, I need another pasture that way I can move some into the new pasture and I've got a bit of leeway a bit of scope then for growth I'll still have my 500 in total but it does mean I then can get new births which means I'm getting free cows so if I don't do that then I'm, I'm wasting an opportunity so I think that's what I need to do let me just disconnect that a second and check because I'm pretty sure that's going to need it maybe it's not picking up as much as it should do because it needs some repair yep it needs some repair right not too much but we good I'm just going to fill this up we'll put the first 500,000 litres in that will give us enough that we will be as productive as we can be I will spend some more time then off screen cutting as much grass as I possibly can of what I've got left it's all going to regrow again I've got some spots where it's not cutting so I think I might have to do some spot landscaping and I've got all these bushes everywhere everywhere there's a bush there's not grass underneath that so I might have to do a bit of landscape on those maybe remove the bushes put some grass down I did think about extending the pasture a little bit just thinking of areas that I'm not using at the moment and I could be utilizing them for grass just just an idea right 206,000 at the moment I've got around the back to do I haven't finished cutting all the front bit here so I've got more to do but I might as well get this in now it's taking 2,250,000 litres to fill each of the feed troughs uh, straw only took 500,000 litres so I've got loads and loads of straw Oh, and weirdly, you know, I said the sugar wasn't producing. I think it just needs to reset. I've got a full 2,000 litre container sitting there, and the second one's just started. So it was obviously, I don't know what, why it hadn't, but we have got sugar. Look, 2,000 litres, another one on the go. When the sugar beet's done, we can get that up to 100% productive. So the factory's working as well. That was a little bit sing-song. I'm getting a bit overexcited again. So let's have a look then, shall we? Cows. I still say 91%. Probably because it hasn't. Um, I need more grass in there, don't I? So I bring that up. Yeah, but we've got 2,000 litres of manure, 1,953 litres of slurry, and already 3,086 litres of milk. They are going to be incredibly productive. Although I'm surprised. Because I've been going a little while now, the reproduction rate hasn't clicked over. Don't know why that is. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing now. I've got to get 2,250,000 litres of grass from somewhere. And we will fill that up. And then the 500, my first 500, will be good to go. Next episode, hopefully, I'll do some contracts off screen to get a bit of money up got some bits of equipment we need to buy hopefully we're going to be ready to harvest our potatoes and sugar beet I want to get enough money then to buy another plot to do poplars in got plans I'm not afraid to use them hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do Thanks for watching.